hello everyone let's check with the next task on using a switch activity well we'll not directly go with switch activity but we'll try to understand first on what exactly is the requirement for a switch activity now in some conditions or in some cases you cannot just have a true or false statements like yes or no statements there can be yes no and some other statements in this example a user is trying to add an input a weekday from monday to wednesday or monday to sunday whenever a user adds an input robot should go ahead and tell what is the name of the week is it or based on the input it must give a different output there are seven days in a week and we have seven options to show seven results let's go ahead and see what is the requirement okay in this task you will be able to understand about how to use choice which is a switch block and how to use a debug flow and control flow statements which is also called as a control flow statement create a new project in this project add the project name on that let's add a input call set variable now in uipath web studio we will not have an option to ask a input for a user so we'll be setting it out in the beginning of the flow so set variable we'll be using and we'll be setting it to weekdays and the monday is the value that we are going to pass in and we'll add a switch activity in that switch activity we can write different options as uh, values now for monday there can be a separate value for tuesday there can be a separate value for wednesday there can be a separate value in the same way for all the seven days we can have a separate value now this is what i have given for monday you have embrace and start the week with enthusiasm now tuesday terrific tuesday keep the good work so all these messages will go ahead and will add it to the code the final output can be something like this where you have all the switch blocks and on the right side based on the input that user is giving you will get the output let's start with a new project and name it as switch activity using weekdays switch activity on weekdays click on create to use switch activity we need to have an input from a user and since we don't have a input dialog activity in uipath studio web we will be using a set variable value so initially we will be setting out this value and this value let's set it as monday so we are giving a input as monday for a bot and click here and click on save variable we'll save it as weekday so this is one weekday that a user is trying to add now for this weekday let's go ahead and add a switch block in this switch block let's add a input input will be the value that is passed from this set variable value I can type in the value here or I can just go ahead and select this variable weekday. Now this weekday can give me any input along with Monday. Like I can keep it as Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, anything I want. But for now this is Monday. And there are multiple blocks in switch statement and this is a conditional block. Now whatever we have added, if this is true, then it will go into the default block. The switch activity is divided into multiple layers. Now the default block is something that will be executed if any of the condition is not validated. And let's go ahead and add a condition called Monday. So if user gives in Monday as an input, then what must be given as an output? Let's go ahead and add a log message. In this log message, let's go ahead and write in a value called in double quotes, wonderful Monday. And let's hit on check if the errors are removed and let's go ahead and see in the default block also and here also let's go ahead and add a log message and we will say here stating that this is an invalid input input is invalid so we are expecting a user to type in either monday tuesday wednesday for now only monday because we have written on the condition only for monday now if that is not validated then we will write a default block stating that user have added a invalid input let's go ahead and run it step by step the project building started click on next step set variable now this variable is set you can check the value in the watches panel 
the value for now is week day let's go ahead and see what's the value the value is monday and let's go into the switch block now you can hit on next step now when you hit on next step it is validating now if you see here this is matching monday is exactly matching to the value that we have given and it's going into wonderful monday let's go ahead and hit on next step and this will be executed successfully and if you continue to the next step it will come out of the loop or it will come out of the execution so our program is completed and we are able to get monday as a result here wonderful monday what if the value is incorrect and what if i give some some random value so let's go ahead and run the code so when i execute the code the value that we are going to get is input is invalid because the data is not able to validate if the input is monday or not so for monday only we have given instruction to add it as wonderful monday anything else let's go ahead and add as default now let's go ahead and see if i add tuesday what will be the output let's go ahead and add tuesday let's go ahead and add a logic so add a child in this and write tuesday just make sure input should be matching with this particular value in the same way let's go ahead and copy this and do you know how to paste it click on this plus symbol you will get to see a clipboard action like this paste symbol paste it now here instead of wonderful monday terrific tuesday is what we are going to give as a output value let's go ahead and run this flow and run so now the answer is terrific tuesday like this you can add all the values now something that you must remember is switch statement will act like a condition now it will take an input that is this expression which is containing some value and that will be matching with this condition like monday tuesday wednesday you cannot write if else blocks like it cannot be in a if condition you will write an expression it cannot be an expression it should be a specific value or specific string value or a number value now this is on monday here is the quick tip on for the advanced level go ahead and try to add for all the values like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday and let me know in the comments if you are able to achieve this if you have any queries just go ahead and add in the comments we'll be able to help you out now this is in the form of a string or this is accepting a value as string now what if it is a number can it also accept yes it can accept all you can do is i'll just keep it as is at the bottom i'll just add one more set variable value now i will add values for 1 2 3 like 1 2 and 3 other numbers that i'm going to add i'm going to add set a value called 1 and the variable will be number input okay and for this one let's go ahead and add a switch block and for this switch block this is switch one we are going to accept it from use variable this is number one and input so this is the value that we are going to add let's go ahead and add the log message again this is the log message and this log message is again invalid input from user invalid number from user so we are trying to expect only one two and three as inputs so if user adds in any other value then we will set as a default message so let's go ahead and add one now if you see here when you added a string value for a switch block for example in this block when you have added it when you click on add child this is not giving you any up arrow and down arrow because it knows that it's a string value but when it's coming into number it is able to recognize that it is a number value and it can be only integers now when i click on this add child you got a increment arrow you can click on this numbers and you can increment or decrement it so ui path web studio is intelligent enough to understand what is the data type and what value can be an input now if you just type in asdf it's not allowing me to type in any asdf values or any characters it is allowing me only numbers so that is what you can check so now add child one let's go ahead and add a message stating that entered value is one so i'm just going to type in not explaining in the detail of how this is working or what value can be added up here but try to understand the execution of this switch block so it will take an input from the set variable value and it's one and if the 
condition is one or if the switch statement is one or if this block is one this will be executed if you have added anything else then the default block will be executed let's go ahead and run the code and let's see so the execution is complete and the entered value is one let's go ahead and try to change the value from input let's go ahead and add the value set variable and here let's go ahead and add four because there is no input for four or there is no condition for four this should throw us a default message stating invalid number from the user so entered value is one is still being updated let's see why so i think it's not yet updated completely let's go ahead and try to add open expression editor so the value is four click on save let's go ahead and run it again the number is invalid from the user so that's how you can use a switch block your task is to add further more weeks i have added monday and tuesday and you can add wednesday to saturday and for the numbers i have added only one you can add one to four or one to five anything you want let's go ahead and quickly do a recap so we started with a new project and with a switch activity on weekends and we set a variable called weekday on monday for monday and then we have added a switch block in that switch block we have taken whatever variable that we have created we have taken that as an input for this expression and we have created a condition like for every block or for every input that we can expect we can write a block you can click on this plus symbol and you can write a condition now based on the input if a user have entered monday then you will get monday message if none of the value is available or if none of the condition is validated then it will go with a default message that is any particular error message or any particular message that you want so that is all about switch statement let's check out the next video hey amazing viewers hope you are loving our content if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button right now